over to like A to Z training. Just like if you were to start even stuff that you may know, I just want to cover it so this way you can say, okay, um, you know, I understand, you know, this way there's no saying I didn't know how to do that. You know what I mean? So everything from entering a membership, gotcha. reports, everything. So this way everyone could be shown the right way to do, you know, how to work gym insight for what you guys are looking to do. Um, so I'm going to be recording. I'm going to, Jake, I'm going to be signed in as you at your club and I'm going to do, be recording this uh, training. So this way, if you ever have to reference it, uh, it will be uploaded and you could look at it any other time. Also, if you end up hiring any other salespeople or part-time people, you could just show them this video if you don't want to train them yourself. Awesome. All righty. All right. So I'll start that. All right. So can you guys see my uh, screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So the first thing that I would do as far as getting into the club, my first order of business would be to obviously go into the office, log in, and we could see what went through last night and what did not go through last night. So obviously we could see at the club, nine memberships went through for $379 and eight people were declined. Also, as you guys may know, everything that's been declined will be in the task menu as well as other things, uh, expiring credit cards, such and so forth. So the first order of business, what I would do, I would click on the word declined and get a breakout of everybody that did not go through. And this would be my first order of business, getting this $300 that should have been in the gym's uh, bank account that is not there um, to start off the day before I do anything else, before I focus on sales. Let's focus on the money that we sh already should have collected last night. Um, I would start off with the person that owes me the most amount of money and work my way down. Um, as you talk to the people, then you could you know, do the tasks later on. Uh, obviously in the tasks you could see first decline, make courtesy call, call delinquent, credit card expiring. These ones are very important to hit up because this person doesn't even owe any money yet. And that, you know, that's an easy phone call to make when somebody doesn't even owe you any money. You just have to update the payment. So, for example, Levi, call this person, action taken, phone call. What was the resolution of the phone call? Did I update the payment? And then if there was anything about that phone call that you need to remind yourself the next time you talk to this person. So let's say uh, they go, well, I'm getting a new credit card. Please call me on Friday so I can update that. I would put that in here. Um, Levi said to call on Friday due to getting new card. So this way when you call them up, you can look at your own notes and be like, hey, Levi, remember I talked to you the other day. You told me to give you a call on Friday. I'm just trying to update your credit card payment. And they go, oh yeah, that's right. I did tell him to call. Um, but otherwise, Right now, I'd be focusing on this right here. So, for example, Chris uh, Fadden. All we have to do is click on the name. It goes right to the membership profile. Uh, again, you have the navigation bar is the top to get in contact. You have their contact info, which shows you their email address, their phone numbers, all avenues to contact the person. The billing info, which shows how much they're paying, how long they've been a member. Um, and payment method. If the person says, hey, I got a new credit card, let me update that. That would be new payment method. If the person just says, you know, Blaze, I just got a new expiration date, you don't even have to enter a new credit card. All you have to do is click update payment and just change the expiration date right here and click update. That's right. You know, that's so you, you don't even have to mess around with entering a new credit card if it's just the expiration. Now, if you call this person, Chris, and he goes, you know what, I have money on my card now, I'm really sorry, go ahead and deduct it. Um, all you have to do at that point is click add sale, charge the card on file, membership dues, put in the amount of money and go ahead. And now you could tell them right away, nope, the credit card still declined or thank you very much, the card went through, here's your confirmation number. Uh, another thing that you may encounter is a person may say, I want you to pay this month's payment on this credit card, but I don't want you to update the profile. That's fine. That's what this little check mark's for. So if let's say he wants to use his mom's, his girlfriend's, whatever case his credit card to pay for the money that he owes, but he wants to keep his credit card on file, that's what this would be for. It would just charge the credit card he gives you over the phone once, and then that's it. Um, and that's very simple. Again, put in the amount that he owes, six, let's just say $60, you would click save. Temp CC, 
click save, and then it would go to entering that new credit card that you're just going to charge once. Um, the other option is if you just leave it alone, you could see the system will try to charge it every five days. But if you're like me and the person says, I have money on it now, um, you want the money right then and there. You don't want to wait for them to say, okay, the credit card's good. Next time it charges, let's just... I want to know if the person says their credit card's good right then and there, I want, I want the money right then and there. Um, so that's what I would do. I would call this person up and say, Chris, it looks like you got a new credit card, debit card. I need to update that payment information. So this way uh, we can avoid future late fees. Um, and this guy it looks like he's paying $65 and he has one, two, three, four people on his account. Is that correct? So it's $65 for... Oh, he's 55. I'm sorry. I didn't see the $10 late fee. So $55 for four people. That's uh, how much you guys are charging? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, you know, basically, a, there's a couple ways to get the, this money. You could, you know, if this was a deal, let's say, let's say it doesn't exist anymore, um, you know, I could say, hey, Chris, how's it going? Your, your account's 10 days past due to avoid future late fees. We need to update this payment. Also, to keep your account, the deal that you got with four people, $55, we're not running that special anymore. And if you would like to save that, you know, membership so it doesn't go, go away, we need to update that and pay for it right now or else the account will auto-cancel. Whatever you have to say to get that credit card. Um, let's see. How, let, me, let me ask you a question, Blaze. How have you been calling up people to get their money? Like, what have you been saying to people? Um, I call them up. I say, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, yeah, remember when you signed up? Um, hey, I just had to um, try to get your payment this this month, and the payment didn't, didn't go through. I think um, your card's on file. Is it a bad number? So I want to check that out. Um, do you have enough money in the account? Uh, what what can I do to help you get this paid off um, so you can come to the gym and enjoy our, uh, our gym? Okay, so remember, a lot of people, sometimes it's not a money issue. Like, I've called people, where they, they can have, you know, $10,000 in the bank, you know, and some people out there, they take offense to tell them that if, if there's not enough money in the account. So, in the, in the future, when you call people, you don't want, really want to say it's like a money issue, even though it very well may be. You want to always say, um, hey, how's it going? This is Anthony from Sharp Performance. It looks like you may have gotten a new debit card or credit card, or maybe it was lost or stolen because it looks like the monthly dues did not go through. And I'm just trying to avoid uh, late fees on your account. Do you have a card on you right now that I can update your payment on file? And just be quiet and let them, you know, talk and say, yeah, and let them, they're going to tell you why it didn't go through, whether it's true or not. And be like, okay, well, again, I'm just trying to avoid late fees. So go ahead and why don't you give me a credit card that I can put that on file and take care of this for you. And just, you know, be quiet. And they're either going to get their credit card or they're going to give you an excuse uh, or whatnot. Be like, okay, well, remember today I'm able to take care of late fees, um, you know, after, blame it on the billing company, say after tomorrow, the billing company really steps forward and they can't, I won't be able to waive late fees. Um, and again, as the membership that you signed, you signed a month to month membership. And if you want to cancel the account, the account has to be current with a 30 day notice. That That's what your guys rules are, right? Right. <laughs> unspokenly, we, I mean, we really need to make, uh, you know, unspokenly, yes, but we really need to stick to it because we're in a small town. Like, we need to make sure we say, I mean, Blaze, we probably said 30 different things to folks on that, don't you think? Yeah, just, you know, trying to keep safe pace with people. So, they, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so when you sell a membership, remember to be 100% when you're signing the membership. Don't be uh, scared to say something to where you think it's going to cost a deal because, trust me, if you do a membership where – the person thinks they could just stop whenever they want. It's going to be more headache in the future. You're not going to lose a deal over saying this is how it is. You have a couple options. You can either buy a prepaid membership. You can go month to month or you could get a contract. I don't know if you guys do contracts. But remember to explain to them month to month means you don't. You could cancel at any time. You don't, you're not stuck with us. You could leave the gym and whenever you want. You just have to give us a 30-day notice. And it has to be in current standing. 
Um, if you don't explain this stuff, then they can always use the, well, you never explained that to me. You said it was monthly and I could stop whenever I want, so I'm stopping right now. And now you have to deal with uh, an angry person that will probably write a Yelp review if you end up sending them to collections. And, you know, it's just not good for anybody. So when you sell the membership, you really want to be uh, as transparent as possible. And even if you get somebody that says, well, I don't want to put a credit card on file, because I know you guys had that before, um, it doesn't matter. It's, I would rather not, don't do the membership, not get the sale, because it's not a membership. If you don't put a credit card on file, it's what I call ghost gross. You think there's gross there, and there's not. Because Jake can see when it shows up in the system as you're having $20,000 in dues, but when you try to collect and look at your bank statement, you only have $6,000 in dues that you collected on because nobody comes in and pays for their dues with cash. So what we need to do is say, when, when you're selling a membership, you tell people, well, these are your options. You could go month to month. You have you could still pay cash if you want, but there has to be a card on file in case you forget to come in. If you do if you're adamant and not put not putting a credit card on file, your other option is to do a one month prepaid. And how much how much is your monthly membership right now? Paul, see there? Yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Um my bad. Uh, no, what I, our monthly membership right now is forty eight ninety seven with tax. Okay, perfect. So what you want to do is create a one month limited term membership for sixty dollars, and you say if you don't want to put a credit card on file, what we end up doing is you you put you sign it up for one month, and it's sixty dollars a month. So this way, at the end of the month, if they want to do another month, they come back. You have to do another membership at sixty dollars. And if the person goes, well, I want that month to month savings, it's forty eight dollars. Well, you can very much well have that month to month savings and you could still pay cash for that, but I need a credit card on file for you to go month to month. Otherwise, if you don't want to put a credit card on file, that's still fine. You can still join up, but it's a one month. You're just paying for one month at a time. So the reason why that is at the end of the month, the membership will cancel and then we got to re-sign you up, back up. So that's why it's more money. So you could not put a credit card on file and pay $60, or you could do a month to month membership, still pay cash, but the only thing we need is just have a credit card on file for the days that you may forget to come in to pay cash, and you get to have that month-to-month -month savings of $48. So out of those two memberships, which one would you rather have? And if they go, well, if I can't do the month-to-month, -month, uh, I don't want to sign up, bye, bye-bye, I don't, because that's not a membership. Because you're, right now, instead of, if you sign up somebody without a credit card, you're playing debt collector, you can't be a manager, and now you have an open balance, balance list of uh, 40 people that monthly dues didn't go through because they didn't come in and pay cash. So the, the, the key to the game is to, to operate smarter, you know, not, not, to, not to do things harder. So what we want to do is when we sign people up, and it all starts from the sign up. When you sign somebody up, get a credit card. If they have a credit card, they can bet whatever membership they want, month to month, prepaid, contract, whatever it is you guys sell. If they're only paying cash, you have one option prepaid membership that's it either whether they want to prepay their dues for 12 months or if they just want to sign up on a monthly basis then you do one month at a time and you do prepaid membership and you you make it end at the end of this month at the end of one month do you, you understand what i'm saying and that will cure all of your problems because if we go to your reports and we go look at missing payments i know you guys have been really killing this right now and doing better but look at all these memberships, 42 memberships that are missing payments. These are, these are, and, the, and the other thing is, too, is they're not going to turn red or yellow because these are considered cash, cash accounts now. They're up to the manager to, make, to run these accounts. They're up to you to see, uh, did this person pay? You know? And if we look, I'm sure, like this person's $48, and this is a contract right here. Look. They haven't paid on 12 27 This is somebody that said they were coming to pay cash. They haven't. And it doesn't even look like there was a note in here or uh, whatever the case may be. So, yeah, no payment on file. So we could see this is what happens. Yes, I understand in the moment you're just happy to get a sale. But you have to remember, it's not a sale if you don't get a credit card on file. Because as of right now, Jake sees this, that you're adding $50 in dues, but you're really not, you know? 
So, you know, and, and the delinquencies, if we go to... Blaze, you there? Blaze, hello. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Listen. So if, if we go on here, the delinquency rate right now, it looks like 8.15, but it's not taking consideration all those memberships that it can't uh, charge. Because if it can't charge an account, it does. It's not delinquent. It's again. It's considered a cash run account, and you know again all those missing payments. I mean, in EFT, let's just say the average membership here is. Uh, there's some on here. Let's say the average membership here is forty five bucks, forty three dollars. So uh, how many is there? Forty two right now. So that's times forty two. There is almost two thousand dollars in EFT right here. You know, it's twenty-four thousand uh, dollars that you're missing out. That if these people don't update their credit cards, that the gym's missing out on. So I, that's a, that's a little bit of a it's a big chunk. Uh, and these people already sold most of them. I know I understand there's some people in here that like yourself, like Blaze. I'm sure you're not going to collect on, and this was just a mock membership that you put in. But the most for the most uh, part, everybody in here has already been sold. All we have to do is call them back up, get a credit card on file. And you never have to worry about them again unless they actually decline. Because right now, no nobody that runs a gym wants to deal with this. This person's already been sold. The hard part's been done. I don't want to play debt collector, you know? So that that would be the number one thing that I would focus on when selling a membership. Give them a choice. You know, obviously when you sit them down when they first come in, you go over what they want to change themselves. Do I want to lose weight? Do I want to gain weight? Uh, what area, what body parts would you like to change the most? Uh, give them a tour based on those body parts. So if the guy wants to change his arms and back, give him a tour and, and just show him the back and biceps body part. You, you're not really trying to train him right there or show him, well, you really need everything. I don't care. The guy just came in and is interested in that. Show him what he's interested in and people will buy. If I go to Best Buy and I say I'm interested in a 4K TV and the person says, well, you don't, there's no 4K content out there. So let's look at 10, uh, 1080p TVs right now and the best one there. I would, I would be like, no, that's not what I want. I want to spend my money on this. So show me that. And a lot of gyms today may have that mistake because they try to be personal trainers on the tour. On the tour, give the person what they want. The membership will be a lay down and you'll have no problems. The person will give a credit card no problem so right now from blaze what i want to hear is one of the most objections that you hear so we can help that you get of why these accounts don't have uh credit cards on file hey anthony anthony i want to butt in real quick yeah, yeah um blaze on the missing payments right here like uh and if you want to click on another one of those like i mean it, it is what it is we're going to clean this up mm -hmm. but right now it is what it is we we have this issue now so Blaze is going to be collecting cash on these folks for probably another month or two till we get this straightened out. So I just want to make sure Blaze is is managing it the way we need it managed in the system to to be correct. And is that sure? Is, yeah, it looks are, like are we doing that, Blaze? Talk, talk to us, Blaze. I want to, I want to hear your feedback on. It. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just listening. Um, no, so the biggest the biggest feedback I get on people um, when I ask them is just they don't have their credit card with them and i understand and i tell them okay go get it before you come sign up <clears throat> and you know before before i decided you know i'm not doing that anymore worry where i wait for them to bring back i just you know i just tell them okay without a credit card you can't come in and uh, the big the, another big one is um and they're on this area uh, people don't have one and people um what's the other one don't don't like giving it out Okay, so, so like using their debit card. Okay, so let's let's tackle all those right, right now. Right. Let's 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 go over all those right now. The number one thing, uh, don't like giving it out because that's probably going to be the main concern. Everything else is mostly going to be an excuse or a lie to you. Nobody, um, yeah. Everyone has a debit card, a credit card. Them. I don't even remember last time I left my house without my wallet and didn't have my debit card in it. I mean. I don't think that even happens right. anymore. Yeah, and I know that. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So you, right, what they're telling you right now is saying, I don't see the value in it to where I could give you my credit card. You know, I don't, I don't think this is worth it enough for me to give you my credit card. So let's go back and let's just 
comfort them to make them to see the value of why this place is worth giving you my credit card and alleviating some of their fears. A lot of people have a fear that you're going to keep charging them even after they cancel and that's another reason why they don't give a credit card. At one point or another in the past they probably have signed up to a gym where they got the shaft you know and they got locked into a contract and they just kept doing so that's another one of their fears so up to you number the thing that you should say is well i understand that you don't want to give your credit card out but most gyms and our billing company works this way so we have a couple options that you can do number one if your main concern is that you want to pay cash you absolutely can pay cash every month you all you have to do is come up two days before your billing day and pay cash and I will take it and your credit card will not be charged. The credit card it on file is just in case you forget to come in and pay cash. So this way you can get that month to month savings on the $48 account. Because otherwise, if we don't have a credit card on file, the only membership I'm allowed to put in is a, is a prepaid membership, whether it's one month, two months, or three months. So this way you can blame it on us. You know, don't blame it on the gym. Don't blame it on Jake. Don't blame it on you guys' rule. Just say, the computer will not let me enter a monthly membership without a credit card. That's it. And, you know, you could basically tell them, the computer will let you come in and pay cash, but I'm not allowed to give you that month-to-month -month savings because I can't enter a membership without a credit card. It needs a credit card for me to enter that in. Um, but I tell you what, if you don't have your credit card on you and you like the gym and you want to get started, why don't we go ahead and get you started on a one month membership get them started on the one month membership and tell them if you come back within a week and you give me the credit card i could roll this one month membership over into a month-to-month -month membership and change it and let me show you how easy that is so let's say we go to somebody that is where is you don't have any prepaids oh, here we go prepaid this person right here clay claire conway right let's say she came in and she only paid one month. Right now, I know she paid more than that. Um, but let's say she came in here. She didn't have a credit card on her. She only paid you one month. So she came back in the week and goes, hey, I got my credit card. Uh, let's go ahead and give me that month-to-month -month savings. All you have to do, Blaze, is click on the edit button. Take her from a pain full to a month-to-month. -month, put in the monthly amount. Select the bill day that you wanted to start billing. And click update. And that's it. And obviously put in the credit card number, but that's all that's required to, to change a month uh, to prepaid over to a month to month. So you could start, you don't have to let people walk out of the door and say, hey, come back until you have a credit card. You could still sign them up, get the money. I would always say, get the money if you can get it, but sign them up on a one month prepaid, you know? I got you. So mm -hmm. that that's you never want to let money walk out the door, but in the same instance, you don't want to do the missing payments because we see the the downfalls of that. So we you guys Anthony, have to, can you can you go through that one more time because I, I know we've we've done some things where we've edited accounts mm -hmm. or we've maybe somebody's come in and paid cash and they have a credit card on file and, and we miss a step or we forget to update it and they sure. get charged twice. Okay, it's happened way too much to us and and. I mean, we're really trying to knuckle down on it. I, I know exactly. I know exact. I know exactly what's happening. So let's say for this person, all right, they have a credit card on file, right? They owe ninety five bucks. So the way that 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 will happen if you to get them double charged if you miss a step. So let's say this person they owe ninety five dollars and they're going to get charged again. It looks like one eighteen. They just got delinquent, so they're going to get charged again in five days, right? Let's say the person tells you, well, I'll have the money on the 25th. A lot of people that make mistakes will end up going like this. All right, well, if they're going to pay on the 25th, why don't I just do this? Why don't I just change the bill date to the 25th, right? What's going to end up happening when you do this is not only is it going to change the bill date, it's going to charge them for the $55 on the 25th, but it's also going to try to charge them for the $95. If you change a bill date in the system, you have to make sure their account balance is zero. Because if I change this person's bill date to the end of the month, it's going to make their bill date at the end of the month, but it's also going to carry over whatever their balance is. Do you, do you understand that? So that's why you're... Yeah, that's, I, yeah I totally understand. And, I, and I've seen that before too, and I totally understand. So that's why people yeah. are getting double charged. The system's not intentionally double charging them. You're just changing bill dates 
and they still have a balance. So anytime you change a bill date, the system is going to charge them whatever you, the monthly membership amount is because they think, okay, this is the new bill date for this person. I'm going to charge them $55 on this date you just sent. But if there's, that, if there's any lingering debt, it's also going to charge that as well. Right, okay. So that, that's why they're doing it. So, Blaze, just remember, if somebody doesn't have money on them and you're going to change a bill date for whatever reason – Make sure they have it says zero dollars at the bottom here before you ever change a bill date. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and yeah. then that'll avoid can all, you, all that. Can thing. you walk through one more sure. where um, those cash accounts mm -hmm. like somebody's paying cash and then all of a sudden you know they want to bring that credit card again? You, sure, you did it just previously. Yep, uh, well, I, I did it. Blade, Blade's gonna be dealing with a couple of these hopefully okay. in the coming weeks. Well, I'm gonna do it on two sessions. The, mm -hmm. the one I just did it on was on a prepaid account. So remember how we said if the person doesn't have a credit card, we're still gonna get the money, but we wanna sign them up on a one month membership, right? So we're gonna we're gonna click on somebody right here. Oh, she's, uh, okay. So this person, we're gonna say signed up, didn't have a credit card, so Blaze signed him up on a one month membership, right? And a week later, she decides to give you her credit card. So all we have to do to change this from a prepaid to a monthly membership, because now she gave you her credit card and she don't wanna pay $60 a month every single month, she wants to get that $48, all we have to do is let's update her payment, put her credit card in. Once her credit card's in, now we're gonna change her membership type click this edit button once you click the edit button all you have to do is change it from prepaid to open end you're going to put in the forty eight dollars and change or whatever it is select the bill day now of when you want the monthly membership to come out and click update and that's all that's required anthony will will it auto populate for us with, like say it's prepaid and it's prepaid out still you know, uh, the end of March. Will it uh -huh. auto populate that they shouldn't be charged to the end of March, or will, we, will Blaze have to just look at how much we charged her to start with and see how long that membership actually was, or how that works? Well, well, this I'm I'm saying this in an example. Let's say this was just a one month membership, so this way you could convert it over to a monthly. If you want to, if you want to charge them. And let's say somebody is prepaid out to March, exactly like you just said, but you want to convert them to month to month after that. You want to start the billing date to after March. All you have to do on that point is then just go like this, switch it to open end, right? Put in the monthly, but now you're just going to make her next bill date. You can see right here, it says her next bill date will be 5-3 because that's, it automatically defaults to when her membership's going to end. So, but you could change this number to whatever you like. Okay. This this is when the first and, pilling is going to start. It. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. But okay, but the, now if if they prepaid, you know, fairly far out in advance, there's really no incentive for them no. to want to do this. But if, but if they are paying month to month, I'm not talking higher rate, which we're yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not talking about those types of memberships. Those types of memberships are fine. If you want to sell a one year prepaid, fine. There's there I'm. There's no need to put people with credit cards on file for those people. They're already paid you for yeah. the year. I'm talking about people that have signed up. They didn't have a credit card on them, so Blaze just sold them a one-month membership, and you have to convert them over before the end of the month to a month-to-month. -month. Gotcha. And that's why I said to make the membership $60, because if you make that one-month membership the same price as your monthly with the credit card, what's the incentive of giving a credit card? There is none. They'll just say, "Well, I'm yeah. not doing that." So that's yeah. that's why you want. Are we? Is that where we're at right now, Blaze? They're like they're going month to month, but they're paying base, basically that that discount month to month year price. Right. Yeah. So we're we're kind of we fucked ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Cut, yeah. Cut, well, all you have to say in, is this. In a general, in a general sense, we. Please talk to ourselves. Well, no, no, you didn't. You myself. didn't. So basically, I'm, I'm giving you an out right now. You can say that you have new, new billing software and that they require a credit card on file. Otherwise, every account that doesn't have a credit card on file is going to be switched to a one-month uh, membership. And you're going to have to, you're gonna have to re-sign up every single month if you don't want to put a credit card on file. You don't have to – you could push the blame on us. You know, they don't, they don't know any better that, you know – that you guys screwed yourselves. You know what I mean? So just say, listen. And you want to know something else? 
Memberships change at gyms all the time. I've been a member of many different gyms and sometimes walking in they go, hey, new membership dues. You know, uh, the other thing about having them pay month at a time, there's nothing guarantee you that they're, that they're a membership. This, the membership that they signed for you is to say that this is a one year membership, right? But they have to have a credit card on file. As soon as they go delinquent, guess what? You could cancel that membership on them. So if you, if you want to get out of uh, screwing yourselves, as you guys would say, as soon as they're delinquent, cancel the membership. Say, I'm sorry, your membership's null and void. Uh, you, you were delinquent on your payment. You were supposed to come in and pay cash. You no longer have that ability. These are the options you have. If you want to go monthly, you have to put a credit card on file. If you don't want to put a credit card on file, you have to buy membership month by month. And the membership will can and cancel at the end of the month, and you have to re-sign back up. And that membership is $60. So you could honor you gotcha. could you could honor those memberships that you guys signed up without a credit card, but as soon as they for come in and, and miss a payment, cancel them out. Let's let's talk about that, Anthony. We we also screwed ourselves on canceling memberships. We we deleted some, and we we wanted to call them up, but they're not even in the system anymore. Yep, they're out. That's why you, you, as soon as you click that delete button on the bottom. You, you delete any trace of evidence of ev anything about this person in their system. They're gone. So if you want to, if you want, the only people that you have in your system right now, if you want to call people that are canceled, just go to your member screen, member list, and let's say the business is slow and you got to make money. We're going to show all the members that are canceled and in collections and click update. So right now, you have 146 people in the system still that aren't deleted out that you can market to. So look at all these people. Well, some of them are, I don't know why this guy's in here for so much, but um, these are all people. Old manager. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but well, look at all, these are all people that you can call up. So for example, this girl, Natasha, I can call her up. She was paying $45 and you know, you say, hey, how's it going, Natasha? I saw you used to be a member here. Uh, right now, we're having a get back in the game offer where we're letting you have that same exact membership for $39. And right now, I'm just calling up anybody that would like this deal today. Uh, it's going on till the end of the day. So whether you would like to take part in this deal on the phone or you want to come in, uh, you have up until today to re-sign back up for $39. That same membership that you bought uh, is actually going away and we're giving people one last opportunity because if they ever want to come back in the future to not come back to a, uh, an increased membership. So it's more of a service that we're doing today. We're calling up old members that used to be uh, members and letting them have one last chance at coming back to the gym Oh, never mind. Look at this. Due to six months sentence in jail. Maybe this isn't. <laughs> may, <laughs> maybe. No. Yeah. We get. I got the example. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I, I mean. To see it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, that's that's why that's why the uh, status messages are actually good. You can put whatever you want in here, and you know, it the it's to remind yourself. So, Blaze, good job on that, uh, because a lot of people will cancel a membership, and they won't even put. A thing at the bottom of why they're canceling it at least now when you call these people this makes you remind yourself if there was anything that stood out with that person that you could automatically connect to and say hey how's it going uh, I heard you were sentenced to jail I was wondering when you're coming out or tell you what if you resign back up I'll, I'll add some money in your commissary how's that you know whatever you know this is just to let <laughs> this is just to make yourself remind you to be a more effective salesperson the more you use it the more detail you put in here the more effective you could be on the phones if you call these person call this person because now the person's going to make you yes. think wow they really remembered me you know or whatever the case was so yes please if, <laughs> yep. if, if the gym isn't doing well I mean, as far as people aren't calling up, people aren't entering the, you know, the door for the day. It's slow. It's snowy out. Whatever the case may be. Just go to your member list and uncheck green, yellow, red. And check off canceled and collections and click update. And you'll always have a list of everybody in here that used to be members. And let's just say this person right here, Alec, he wants to become a member again. You know, you, you, you're so good on the phone. You got this person saying, that's an awesome deal. Sign me up right now. 
All I have to do is put a payment on file, click un uncancel the account, make sure that they're uncancel, update to green, and that's it. Make sure the billing dates, whatever it is that you know you agree to, but that's how easy it is to get somebody from canceled to a monthly paying membership again. Okay, and it says the system canceled Alex Prince. He was automatically canceled out. He was updated. So we could see Blaze started the membership on 12-1 for $25 for zero months. That's the you know, that's why. So this guy was in for less than a month prepaid. Okay, that's wrong then. Blaze, what did you mean to do on this one? Uh, this is, I don't know, this is back in 12-1. I don't know. Just a month um, ago. But, yeah, I know. But I don't remember the Alex thing. Well, that, that that's another reason why uh, <clears throat> notes are always good. Even though if it's if the person's not canceled, let's say the person came in, a girl came in and gave you a bunch of brownies for whatever the case may be. Uh, you add a note onto that person's membership so you can remember if there was anything in the future. If she comes in six months later and wants to cancel, you could go back and it says, hey, remember that time you sent me brownies or whatever? Anything, this is to help you become more of an effective manager and because there's no way you're going to remember everything about everybody at the gym. So these notes are to help you do that. Uh, but this person may not even know he's canceled. You know, he may think he still has a membership. Let's see, show canceled members. Yeah, this person, if you call him up, he may not even know that he's canceled. You could you could effectively probably call this guy Blaze and say, hey, Alec, how's it going? Um, it looks like your credit card didn't go through uh, for this month. Do you have a new credit card on file? Um, actually, it's probably his mom's phone because it looks shows here that he's 12 years old. But Yeah, it, so, I, so I think what this was, I, I remember the kid, uh, his mom uh, signed him up first and then was like, Came back the next day. Said, "Let's just put him uh, on a family membership under her name." So I made a new one and canceled this one that next day. I think. Well, this I remember right. Well, this doesn't even say cancel. This one just says it was entered for zero months. Hmm. So, um, okay, I don't know. Well, let's yeah, well, I have no idea. well let's make sure. Let's see. Let's see if that's it out. Well, let's, all we have to do is click last name. You may be right. Yeah, I don't see. What, does the mom still have the same last? Does the mom have the same last name, or does she have like a baby daddy where this guy has another last name or something? Actually, you know what? We could just go right like at, this. Uh, Alec. We'll just go like this. Okay. So no, he was the only one. It looks like on at the gym. Yeah. So that's something that you might want to call up. There's a little bit of digging that you may want to do here. But let's start off from the beginning. Again, as soon as you walk in, you start in the day. We're gonna go. The memberships that declined, let's start off from Chris, call him up, tell him that he needs to put a credit card on file um, and whatnot. But we can even do this also. Does he have a credit card on file? Yes, he does. So let's say he doesn't answer. This guy owes us 95 bucks. Let's see if we can get $20 from him. So what I would do at my location when people owed me a lot of money like that and they wouldn't answer their phones, they wouldn't come back to me. Uh, I would go back and see if I let's see if we get 20 bucks from him. Do I have your permission to try for $20, Jake? Jake, do I have I could charge his card for 20 bucks, see if we get something out of him? Hello? Do I have permission Jake, to yeah. Okay, so I have I have permission to try for twenty dollars out of this guy's credit card. He owes you ninety bucks. Yeah, go for it. All right, so I'm just showing Blaze that you can go in and try payment decline. Okay, so this guy's probably doesn't have any money in his account because it, if the credit card was declined uh, for any other reason, it would pretty much show this card needs to be picked up. This card has been reported stolen, wood case, you know, stuff like that. So, but I was just showing you Blaze. If you want to go ahead and try to get like twenty dollars from somebody, uh, let's say they owe you a hundred bucks, and you just want to get twenty, you have that ability to. Right, I got you. All right, so okay, so we got in. As soon as you go in, we're going to go over the decline members. That's the first order of business. Uh, we're going to go over and try to collect the money from people that already owed it to us. That's done. The second order of business would be, let's say somebody comes in and you want to make a sale. 
Okay, so we're going to click new membership. The person does not have a credit card and they say, I want to pay with a credit card. You know, that's, that's just what I want to do. Fine. We're going to do a paid in full and you explain to them, I'm sorry, due to our system, we can only enter month to month memberships with a credit card. Uh, just so you know, you still have the ability of paying cash every month. Uh, even know that there's a credit card on file and we will not charge it if you come in before your bill day but it's only if you come in after your bill day the credit card will be charged it's just there as a backup but if you don't even want to do that uh, and you just want to pay cash every month we have to set you up as a one month and we select the end date because it's, and you got to watch out for this blaze because this this will automatically default to a year out so we have to make sure that this is set to 2017 and we're going to select this for February today's the 19th so there we go that's one month paid in full set up done and we're going to put in their name we'll put in Anthony 11 28 1980 there we go Las Vegas so this is exactly how you're going to enter somebody that does not want to give you a credit card on file or if they say that they don't have it on them. Say, well, that's okay. If you don't have it on you, what we're going to do is we're going to sign you up on a one-month limited-term membership. And if you give me your credit card over the phone or you come in and give me your credit card, what we can do is we can grow ahead and change this membership over to a month-to-month -month membership. No, no problem. Take me five seconds. So the person signs up. If, if they pay you... Uh, cash in hand, which I'm assuming they are because they're selling you they don't have a credit card on file, then go ahead and put the cash down here. And then the membership's created. Now, let's say I call you up, Blaze, and I go, hey, I want that monthly membership. I don't want to pay $60 every month. Here's my credit card, right? First thing you're going to do is pull up my account. There I am. Put my credit card on file. Boom. Save it. And then you're going to go ahead and click edit, change me to that monthly paying option of $48. Mm -hmm. And there's my next payment day, 219. Perfect. And click update. And then there we go. Now I'm back to paying month to month. Um, also, if the person's in thing, do you know how to use, do you know how to make them sign the membership here, Blaze, where you go to billing info and sign agreement? No, that's new, but that's great to know. Okay, so after you sign somebody up, Blaze, this is how easy it is to sign the person, to make them sign uh, for paperless. So you enter the membership, everything's, let's say you enter the membership, you got the credit card, the membership's done. You want to have them sign for it. Click on billing info at the top, click sign agreement. This is their uh, release of a liability that you guys put in. So they could sign with the mouse, or if you do this with an iPad, you could do it with an iPad, but let's just, I'm going to sign here my name. Do, do, do. There we go. If I check, if you check this box, it'll email them the signed membership. So you don't even have to print this out, Blaze. Everything's done for you. So if we go on here wow. and we do, uh, I don't know, let's just do, uh, John. Anthony, you guys integrated this about a month ago, didn't you? This was done about, yeah, a little bit over a month ago, but this is fairly new. But uh, I let everybody know about a month ago, and we we even put a notification when you signed in to do that. So, Blaze, if you want to email the signed signature uh, contract to them, you could do that by checking this box, putting in their email. If they don't... Just click save and create agreement. What this is going to do, this is going to save the signed membership to that profile. So check this out. If you go all the way to the bottom, you see this right here where it says agreements and files? This, right, yeah. th this right here is a copy of their signed membership. So let's say a month from now, they want a copy of it. You could, you could then email it to them again if you want to. Or you could, print, really nice. you could print it out in the office. So if you click the PDF, check it out. You have your logo up here. You have your assumption of risk. You have your signature right here. Everything's done right here. God bless. So there you go. So, I mean, that should be a lot cheaper for you. I mean, not cheaper. I mean, as far as paperless, you know. Hold on. 
right? So right away, going paperless should save you a lot of time because now you don't have to file agreements anymore. Um, or if somebody tries to do a chargeback, Jake, and you have to find their agreement to send it in, now you don't have to search for in a filing cabinet. You just go straight to their membership, print it out, or email it to the collection company, and it's right there. All right, I'm going to delete my own account because this was a test. All right. So is there any questions as far as signing up somebody? Because I want to go over that uh, month to month. Remember, this is how much your monthly payment is. And the first payment, a lot of people get this confused. Oh, they'll mess up memberships. They assume this first payment means today's payment. It doesn't mean today's payment. This means the first payment of the monthly of the monthly it's going to start. Today's payment, we're going to collect in-house another way. So you you guys, did you guys know that that's what that was? First payment doesn't mean that this is when you're going to collect the payment because a lot of people will change this payment to today's date. And if you change it to today's date, nothing will charge because a payment always has to be in the future. When you set up a charge uh, to be automated, it has to be at least a day in the future. So if you, if anybody... Right, and that's, and go ahead. Sorry, Anthony, go ahead. No. Oh, no, it's just when... um. I, that's how I've been doing it. There, I've been doing it a day in the future because I, um, when we first started doing it, that's I figured out how to, you know, do it the next day. Well, also, account. well, also, but, you could you could do it that way. That's fine. But a lot of, the way it's typically supposed to be done is this is set up to where this is when the first monthly payment's going to be done, and then to go right, into you do, and add you just do add, add sale on correct, the account. Correct. Because if you do it, membership dues. Right, because if you do it the other way, they're going to get double charged. Because if you select it for tomorrow, right. it's going to charge them for the monthly. And if you click to add sale, it charges them. Now you charge them twice. But exactly. Yeah. So just curious, uh, Blaze, you know how to do a refund, right? Right. Okay, so a refund is when you go to your account statement. If you have to refund somebody, you click on the little arrow going counterclockwise, and I'll refund the transaction. Right. Okay, so perfect. So is there any questions that you guys have as far as entering somebody? Because I, I want to get, I want to, you know, and, and Blaze, don't feel dumb about asking questions because I'd rather you have me go over this till the cows have come home than after the training and then saying that you didn't understand or you did something wrong. Right, no, I, um, honestly, I had two questions and you covered sure. them from the start, so. Okay, cool. Um, we're, we're good. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So we have enter mine was, Yeah, mine was just about... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, well, I... Mine was about, like, if people want to do that, want to put the open end or the beginning. Okay. And change it later. Okay. That was... So you covered it from the beginning, so... Okay, perfect. Yep. So just remember, there's the three types of memberships. This means you're going to charge them monthly, but for a specific duration. Just like your cell phone. When you sign up at AT&T or perfect. Verizon, you pay them monthly, but you have to do a, a contract for a certain amount of time. So that's what that is. Do you guys have contracts? Yes. Okay. So remember, for a contract, you always select this. For uh, monthly, that's not a contract. That's what open end is. So, so I have a lot of sometimes clients that sign people up open end and they think it's a year contract. It's not. This means that the person can cancel whenever they like. It's, this doesn't mean, you know, you're, you're here for a year. This just means that, you know, we're going to charge you monthly forever until they decide they want to cancel. And okay, Anthony. Yep. If, if, if we do click term, then there's another thing to click on that says at the end of the term, it, it'll go month to month, right? Correct. You see here where it says auto, order, renew. order renew? Yep. So when you select yep. order renew. Right. Go ahead. And we have to do that. Every, every time we sell a term, we always click auto renew. That's if the person agrees to it. You have to make sure to let them know. Right. Because if, if yeah. you do order renew and, you know, they could technically do a chargeback and they'll win. Or, you know, it's, it's basically fraud because you're not adhering to your contract. If there's nothing that they said, okay, I'm going to sign this EFT authorization to go month to month afterwards. Right. All right. So that's auto renew. So you guys know that. And also, too, remember, a paid in full has an auto renew option as well. Mm-hmm. Because at the, end gotcha. of, at the end of the year, you know, I, you know it's going to let you know. But even if you forget to click auto renew or the person says no, 
the system will let you know when you have memberships coming to an end. If we go to reports and we go to access reports, <clears throat> we're going to click on something that says expired accounts. There it is. See right here? Expiring prepaids. This is a list of everybody that's yep. expiring. So if we want to go to say 2008, it'll give you a list of everyone that's that's going to expire within a certain date range. So you want to make sure to do that. Right. Uh, canceled accounts. So let's say you want a list of everybody that you canceled off. Um, here's a list of everybody from 1-1-2017 one, one, to one thirty one that has that is canceled off. So this is a good list for in case you want to call these people and really find out why they canceled. Because we can all agree when somebody cancels, they give us this, right? They go, well, I'm canceling because I'm moving. Nobody's moving. They're just canceling. They're saying that because you have nothing to say to them. And when, they, when a person goes into a gym to cancel, trust me, their, their defense wall is up and it is fortified. They don't want you to talk them out of it they're walking into that gym and they're going I'm not letting blaze talk me out of this not letting blaze talk me out of this i'm canceling i'm canceling and when they go to cancel the first thing somebody usually says what i usually see in owners or managers they go what why are you canceling why would you do something like that right you think it's playing around but in their eyes it's the first step of you talking them out of it and that's when they go even harder to cancel the membership so what you need to do is actually take the opposite approach instead of saying why would you want to do something like don't say that don't even ask them why they're canceling because you know what they're going to tell you they're going to tell you that they're moving right so what you need to do is find out exactly why they're canceling and how to do that is very simple all you have to do is if somebody comes in here because they say they want to cancel i want you to take them down to your desk please you, you have a desk or are you just always at the front desk um, yeah, I mean, I might have a desk upstairs we can take them to. Okay, I want you to take them to your desk and say, follow me, let's handle that cancellation right now. Right away, 10% of their defense walls is just knocked down because they think that, that you're going to cancel them. I don't want you to ask them why. I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to tell them, we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Come over here so we can fill out the paperwork for your cancellation, right? You sit them down at the desk and you go right into their account Nice haircut. So we're gonna do. We're gonna go right away into their cancellation because uh, we want them to think that you're canceling their account. Again, as soon as you click on the cancel button, boom, their defense wall is totally down. They think they got it in the clear. They got one over on you. You're canceling. So now, while you're doing this, I want you to go. So Roberto, while I'm finishing up canceling your account, what was just the main reason? What was the main reason why you're canceling? Is it because you're just not using it? Um, you know, is it too much money for you? Uh, what was the main reason? Throw out those uh, suggestions. And I guarantee you, they'll say, yeah, you know what, Blaze? I'm just really not using it that much. Boom. Now you got them. Now you could sell them on keeping the membership. So now, as soon as they tell you the real reason, X out of this cancel. And you say, you know what, Roberto? Let's see something real quick. Let's go to, uh, let's see what's going on here. So it looks like you're kind of using the club. So why don't we do this? If you're just not using the club, I understand your concern. You don't want to pay $50 for something you're not using. Why don't we go ahead and put you under the guest membership cancellation, uh, guest, guest membership, uh, membership. What this does is a day fee is $15 here at Sharp Performance, right? So. All this membership is doing is you're committing to two days a month of coming to the gym. It's basically $30 a month. And if you come twice a month to the gym, boom, you're paying for it. You got your money's worth. If you're coming more than twice a month to the gym, guess what? You got one over on me. But if you think you're not committing and you can't come to the gym twice a month, guess what we could do? We can go ahead and cancel this off just like we were going to do today. But if you really think that you commit to coming twice uh, a month, why don't we just go ahead and set you up on a monthly membership uh, for the guest policy membership. It's only going to be $30 a month. It's not going to break anyone's bank. And if you use it twice a month, you're getting exactly what you pay for. But you have the ability to come whenever you want. I've used this, and it's worked like 90% of the time. I'm not lying to you. Um, 
And you, if you say it in exactly those steps, you bring them to your desk. You go into the cancellation. You say, eh, what is the main reason why you're not canceling? Is it because you're just not using it? Is it too much money? Let them tell you exactly why. And now you could talk them out of it. Now you could give them other options and say, well, I'll tell you what. I wouldn't be paying $48 a month if I'm not really using it either. So while we get you started on our, on our um, Value Plus program, where it basically just charges you uh, two day fees a month, and if you come more than that, great. Otherwise, you're just committing to two day fees a month. That's it for your health and fitness. Does that sound like something that you would want to go ahead and get started while you're shaking your head up and down? I guarantee you, you're, you're going to have a lot less cancels if you do it that way. Gotcha. That's, yeah, I just wrote all that down. That's good stuff. Yeah. Well, remember, I'm recording this too. So you can always go back to this and I'll give you the link and, uh, you know, you can rewatch this over just to give you like a refresher. You know, once a week, I would probably watch this just to like get you sharp again, you know. Um, let's see what else we can do. I want to go over the location performance with you guys. Let's go ahead and look at that location performance. So here's a month over month analysis of exactly how much you guys are doing and what you're not doing. So we're going to see right now that your new accounts in December, you did 47 new accounts and you canceled off 16. So you added on 31 people. That's good. You're not in the negative. Uh, January, uh, so far we've added on 50 people and we still got half of the month left to go. So that's good. If you guys really put an effort into it, I think you guys could break over 120 memberships with ease uh, if you do the extras, not just counting on walk-ins, but if you do the extras where you're calling up people that are canceled off, you can very easily get into 120, 150 memberships this month. Right. Yeah, and we, we've actually already sat down and made a plan to do that, so... Awesome. Awesome. So, awesome. So what I would do uh, is if you guys said – next time you guys uh, put a plan of attack, let's get some commitments out here. So we know right away you guys are at 50 memberships. Now, based off of regular walk-ins, it looks like you guys average about you know 50 memberships. In January, we're going to get a spike. So just before making any phone calls, you're projected to do about 100 memberships right this month. Uh, just from not even doing any marketing. It looks like you guys are going to be around 100 memberships. So right now, what I would say is, as a commitment, besides with you, besides the walk-ins, Blaze, what do you feel bankable and confident as a number that you can do by the end of the month? So when Jake sits down with you and goes over this report with you, what do you feel that you can uh, bring in as a total number of memberships sold for January? I think for sure we can get 30 more in the next uh, 11 days for sure. Well, I'm, I'm not even 80. I'm not even I'm not talking about walk-ins. You should be getting that without marketing, right. without phone calls. All right, okay. I want to know right, how without the phone calls. Yeah, I want to know how much with the walk-ins and doing phone calls will you can you commit to doing? Mm -hmm. Because as of right now, you're projected to do 100. Um, right. Well, I know I know we can get 120 with the with the canceled calls. Okay, so you can just call people up and get, get getting them in the door again. Sure. I mean, I know we can get a hundred. So okay, I think I think with your sales skill, that's a very a number that that would you without even trying, you should be able to get. So that's fine. So we have Jake. I want you to write down that Blaze is is giving you a bankable number of 120 memberships for the end of the month. So this well, way, sweet. so this way now for the boiler. Well, the reason why we're doing this, because now when you guys are sitting down and you guys are doing a plan to do make phone calls, you know, Blaze, you can go back to this report and you can see where you're at. And you know on, on Friday, instead of just taking it easy uh, when nobody's walking in, you go, holy crap, I still have, you know, 70 memberships to do by the end of the month. I better go make some phone calls, you know. Um, right. But, so that so it's basically helping keeping yourself accountable. Um, after about you know even when you get up to ninety, let's say it's the last week of January, and you only have a hundred memberships that's showing on here, you know that you committed to one hundred and twenty. So let's go back, let's go to the member list, and I'm gonna make some more phone calls today. 
And this is what I would do, Blaze, because if you look at this list, it's overwhelming. You know, it shows 137 people. So what I used to do back when I made phone calls, I would commit to myself. I had a pen and paper next to my phone, and I would say, for the next hour, I'm committing myself to just making five phone calls. That's it. Five phone calls in one hour. Very doable. Would you agree to that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all I would do, just so I know that I can get it done. Because if even if you – let's just say you make five phone calls an hour and you're at the gym, you know, for eight hours for the day and let's – you know, that's 40 phone calls. And it's 40 phone calls that are done with ease because you're basically busting it down to just five an hour, which we know that are easy. And I, I used to have an egg timer on my desk and I had an alarm that would go off uh, 15 minutes on uh, the – uh, 15 minutes of every single hour and my alarm would go off and whatever I was doing I would stop it I would go to my desk set the egg timer up and I would make my five phone calls and then by the end of the day I had 40, 40 phone calls done and it didn't even feel like I did half of that you know and trust me if, right you, if you do it that way you'll get the phone calls done if you don't and you're like oh I got to make phone calls and you look at this list man this list is overwhelming. Just looking at this list, the phone handle is going to feel like it's 40 pounds and I'm not going to even want to make phone calls, you know? But if you could bust yourself mm -hmm. down and say five phone calls an hour, boom, you're good. You, I, I could guarantee you that you'll get it well over 120 uh, memberships if you do it that way. Okay. And, and remember, I'm not telling you stuff that I'm reading out of a book. Everything that I'm telling you is stuff that I've done myself and I know that works. And yeah, that's it. <clears throat> and also, I've told people that have never been in sales that I've had kids pushing shopping carts that were my sales guys, and I've done this, and they've done it with super success, better on the phones than people that you know have been you know selling on the phones for years. So this is just an easier way how to commit yourself to saying, okay, I made a commitment of 120 memberships. And that's that's an important number. I you know I always tell people when I get a commitment, don't just blow smoke up my ass. Give me a number that I could I could commit that uh, you commit to because at the end of the month I want to know if you didn't get it done, where do you think we went wrong? If you don't get to 120 memberships in a month, where did we go wrong? Did, were you making your five phone calls an hour? Um, was there not enough lists? Let's figure this out of why that didn't happen. So this way next month when you give me my commitment, we could do the right things and we can get there. You know, so it's okay if you don't get to that commitment this month, uh, Blaze, because if you don't, we just got to figure out what went wrong and work on that. It's, it's just a working progress. That's all this is. Gotcha. Understood. All right. So that's done. We know how to make phone calls by going to your member list uh, and clicking the cancel members. That's fine. Now, let's, let's, I, want you, I want to show you another list where it's going to show you everybody that's just a prepaid, right? Because we want to ultimately convert people over to monthly memberships. Jake gets paid right. by memberships that are paying monthly. The gym gets money. It pays, your, pays the overhead. It pays the rent. It pays your employee salary. It pays the burner, like he mm -hmm. just said. In, EFT is the most important thing for memberships in a gym, for the owners and for the gym itself. So let's go ahead and we're going to see everybody that has a prepaid membership at the club. So here we go. You have, wow, good job, Blaze. You only have 15 people as a prepaid. That's good because prepaids aren't the way to go anyway. So uh, these are everybody that's on a prepaid membership. And if there's anyone in here that is paying monthly, like this, per oh, well, well, it looks like you're not going to be able to, to this person, their end date is going to be 12, so they're not going to end for a whole nother year. So you're probably, all right, but you know what we can do to add EFT on this person? All right, so you're not going to be able to convert this guy to a monthly membership, right? Obviously, he has a whole year of prepaid memberships. But you know what we could do to add EFT to this membership is call this guy and tell him that we're having family add-on specials. Hey, Joshua, I saw you signed up for $585 for a whole year. Don't worry. Your membership's not ending until next December. What I'm calling you for is anybody that had that specific membership 
has the opportunity for this month to add on whoever they want at half price of whatever the gym membership is. Right now, the membership is going for $48 a month. If you want to add whoever you want to this membership, you have the opportunity of this month to add in whoever you want for $22 a month. So now, even though this membership's prepaid, we're now creating ways of, of to make this guy to pay monthly. Yeah. So we could upsell our right individuals. So right, but right now, Anthony, it's uh, uh we're up, what are we, buddy? That's four people. It's just a, it's just a sixty-five for platinum for the family. Sure. So we about four. Yeah, it's it's seventy dollars, just two cents. Yeah. Well, I'm just coming up ways to I'm just coming up with different ways to help make right. your prepaid accounts turn into EFT accounts. Obviously, well, we could upsell those singles. Sure. Absolutely. So before, you know, this person's now, you're not getting a dime out of this person for a whole year, but at least now you can, you know, you just say, well, add in whoever you want for 20 bucks a month. And all you have to do, check this out, Blaze, all you have to do to add this person on is just click add member. Add member. Right. And that's pretty much it. So, um, all right. So before I go, I just want to go over one more thing with you guys, and that's going to be... Yep. The health of the club to go over we went over canceled accounts expiring accounts i want to go over your dues change oh i mean your open balance report so the open balance report you very well know this right blaze this is a list right, of, yeah. this, this is a list of everybody in the gym that owes you money so mm -hmm. what i would say is again open balances i would only each report Limit yourself to five or ten calls a day. So have a list on your desk. Open balances, you know, five phone calls today or ten phone calls today. Um, you know, obviously the delinquent accounts in, on the beginning of the day you want to conquer first. But on this, you could say I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel uh, I'm gonna cancel out ten phone calls for the open balances. This way it gets done. So meet with Jake today. I want you to get your commitments for. Uh, memberships and do you guys sell training also yes sir all right well that's for another Not day a lot right now. okay well that's that's for another day I'll go over how to sell personal training but usually where you want to be at is 30% of CPT to NMU and what that means is you want to be 30% of personal training to every new membership unit you sell. So three out of every 10 memberships should have training attached to it. Now, whether it's not you guys want to do a, uh, a $99 jumpstart package for three sessions that are half hours, but I'm going to show you a report real quick of everybody that has signed up in the past 30 days that has not gotten training that you can call up. So this report is called new member usage report. How many trainers do you have at the gym, Blaze? Anthony, it's Blaze is our only trainer. Right oh, okay, now. well I I I didn't know that. I I'm just I'm saying okay. So Blaze, I'm. Let me step back. Is if you're the only trainer, then I'm. You know, I want to salute you for whatever you are doing at the gym. Okay. Usually, I'm talking to managers that are just managers. You're you're pretty much what I call a cyborg trainer, where you're half manager, half trainer. You don't really see those too much. So, um, you know, I will. If you do have any other questions, I'll work with you a little bit more than I normally would work with other clients because I know you have a lot more stress under your belt because you're actually having to talk to somebody for half an hour and still maintain. Uh, stuff at the gym. So I, I understand now. It's bringing to more clearly. So real quick though, if you're responsible for selling training, Blaze, everybody on this report mm -hmm. is somebody that has bought training and I mean they bought memberships and they you could call these people up for orientations, whatever the case may be. Um, the reason why mm -hmm. you see colors over here is because yeah. te technically anybody that buys a membership without training most likely they're going to end up canceling because they they bought a membership they used it for right. the first month and then they're not using it anymore you know so it's only a matter of time before they end up canceling so the reason why there's yellow and red there's red here this is showing you this person joined up 29 days ago and only used the club you know about one time a week so these people are in danger of canceling their membership everybody you see right here this person signed up 20 mm -hmm. days ago. They never even been to the club. So, 
this person's probably going to end up yeah. canceling the membership. So these people are all people that you could call up and say, hey, I saw you signed up at the club, Robin. Um, I haven't really seen you here. Uh, is there anything I can do to get you down here? Maybe schedule some orientation. Is there any uh, pieces of equipment that you would like to uh, um, for me to help you with? Whatever the case may be. This is a golden list of, of money that could be made right here. Because these are people that have paid you who just haven't came to the gym. Yeah, I hear you. So that's it. I, I, I don't want to go into a little more. I mean, it's been over an hour. So uh, is there any other questions that you no, guys have it. for me? I'm no, going to you, you help for us. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Well, I will I will get this uh, video published, and I will send uh, – Jake, I'll send you the link to it. Um, but, you know, in the future, uh, I do like a lot of these – podcast and I'm sure I Jake I showed you that um, where I go over other managers and you know the problems that they had and help them give a plan of attack so if you ever have time later on today um, blaze I would suggest you know check out go on YouTube and just type in the gym owners podcast and because there's a lot of stuff that you may learn from my other clients because I have gyms that have been in business 20 years and they only have $6,000 in EFT. And I, I went through their reports and helped them up with a plan of attack. There's just a lot of good information on there um, that would help you just okay. become a better manager, you know. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'll get this handled. Jake, I will send you over the link. And as always, guys, if you need anything, just give me a call. You know, I want to help you guys out. Make the most amount of money as you can. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, sir. You got it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Hey, man. It's a, right, bye. Bye.